It's certainly no secret that journalism is changing a lot with new technologies, mobile and digital. And this degree is really designed to give students some of those new skills that they're going to need in the workplace. Um, our focus is very much on the audience first. That's kind of the fundamental philosophy of this program. We view journalism more as a service rather than as a product. So we sort of start the process by always asking, what does our audience really need? You know, what are the problems they're facing um, and then we shape the journalism that we create um, in a way that really tries to address those needs so it's a little bit different than say creating an article or a video and then trying to just put a sexy headline on it and getting people um, to click this is really something where the audience needs are fundamentally at the beginning and that's kind of our core philosophy of social journalism the skills that we teach include things like data social video analytics um, all the kinds of newer skills that are really highly in demand in, in journalism today. I just really look for students that are truly passionate about doing this kind of work and who are willing to work really hard in a pretty intensive but very short program that only lasts for one year. Um, it's great if you have some media or journalism experience, but that's not necessary. We've had some outstanding students that have come to us and kind of completely changed their careers. One of the things that we're most excited about is how often that our students get to work with really impressive New York newsrooms and contribute to their journalism in new ways. Uh, last year we got to be part of the Election Land project in which students helped ProPublica, Univision, the New York Times, uh, you know, news organizations all over the country search for voting problems um, that people were reporting at the polls. Um, they verified that information and put it into a big database that journalists could use to write stories. Our, our students choose a community that they want to work with throughout their time in our program and we define that really broadly. So, you know, it could be something geographical, it also could be based around a passion or interest of theirs, anything from, say, soccer or local artists to some very serious issues like people that have been recently been incarcerated, people that are dealing with certain mental health issues, um, those types of things. We've had a lot of really creative projects. You know, we've had students sell investigative pieces to well-respected news outlets like the Marshall Project, but we've also had them do some kind of creative things that you don't normally think about journalists doing but are still really meaningful and have a lot of impact. You know, things like teaching former prisoners how to use technology, um, things like organizing events, things like creating a zine that could be distributed to prisons in order to help people there think about re-entry back into society. So just a lot of really interesting and cool projects in addition to kind of hard-hitting traditional well-reported journalism. We've got graduates that are working at ProPublica, Sports Illustrated, uh, Univision, and also some newer startups, things like Harkin, um, open airy places where you know they're building sort of new models for doing journalism. So it's kind of a good mix of jobs at traditional places, but also some newer kinds of organizations that are doing interesting things. We have a really small cohort where you get a lot of individualized attention. We have about 15 or so students um, in the program. That's about all that we have room for. Um, the students have access to all of the facilities and equipment here at the journalism school. Co Coaches that can help out in specific areas, you know, multimedia, audio, video, things like that.